Consider the following function, so fx equals 1 over 1 minus x squared. And we will look at this function on its domain, which is the left closed interval 0 and right open interval 1. Yeah, 0, 1. And we see that in the picture we see clearly that uh, this function has a vertical asymptote for x equals 1. So we may wonder whether or not the we can give meaning to the idea of the area under the graph uh, of f in between the lines x equals 0, x equals 1, and y equals 0. So when t goes to 1, does at converge? Well, this can be solved by considering the improper integral 0, 1 over 1 over 1 minus x squared, which is the limit for t to 1 minus of 0 t 1 over 1 minus x squared. Well, let's try to find the definite integral from 0 to t for an arbitrary number in between 0 and 1. Well, this can be done by uh, decomposing or decomposing the term 1 over 1 minus x squared as follows. 1 over 1 minus x squared equals a half divided by 1 minus x plus a half divided by 1 plus x. And each of these terms has an easy primitive. So a half divided by 1 minus x has as a primitive minus a half the natural logarithm of 1 minus x. And a half divided by 1 plus x has as primitive a half times ln 1 plus x. And we consider these primitives between the boundaries or the integ integration bounds 0 and t. So we get the limit for t to 1 minus. And we can first write uh, the difference of the logarithms a little bit differently since we know that this equals a half times the log of the, the natural logarithm of 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x, yeah, since the ln of 1 minus x appears with a minus sign, in between the boundaries 0 and 2. Yeah, so we get the limit of t to 1 minus, and now we substitute t, a half times the ln of 1 plus t divided by 1 minus t minus the value 0 substituted, but this leads to a half times ln 1, which equals 0. So we calculate the limit for t to 1 minus of a half times the ln of 1 plus t divided by 1 minus t. Well, what happens if t goes to 1 minus? Yeah, so we see that the denominator is still positive, but very small. And the uh, numerator uh, goes to 2. So we divide something that equals almost 2 by something very small but positive. So we see that 1 plus t divided by 1 minus t um, goes to infinity by letting t go to 1 minus. So half times the the ln of this term also goes to plus infinity. So we get an infinite uh, uh, area uh, below the graph. So we cannot really give meaning to the area below the graph and in between the lines x equals 0 and x equals 1 and y equals 0. In particular, we see here that the improper integral from 0 to 1 of fx dx is divergent.